Welcome guys to episode 52 of survival game series and in this video we are going to save and load our game. So let's begin. Um, in this video we are going to create just the single player uh, game save and load and we are going to work on the multiplayer one uh, a little bit uh, later on in the following videos but we gotta start somewhere. So uh, I'm gonna go to my third person blueprints folder and inside of here we need one very important thing which is we need a save game uh, blueprint. So I'm gonna create this and I'm going to name this my save game game and inside of here we need to create a couple of variables I'm gonna open up my third person character as well so we need uh, to create the variables that we want to save so in my case these are all of these stats inventory uh, also the equipped items as well um, let me see what else should we save I guess in this case that would be all so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that you do the same thing create all of these variables inside of your um, save game so now I've created all of my variables that I want to save so I will compile and save the game save um, blueprint which is all done and um, the next thing what I will do is go to the third person character and we need to figure out a point uh, uh, how and when we are going to save our game so that might be in all kinds of different different situations but as of right now I'm going to create this on keyboard button one so I will create a keyboard keyboard one event like so and what we are going to do is check if this character has authority if you are making a single player game you don't need this node because we don't uh, want to allow our um, client to be able to save the game I want only the server to be saving the world so I need this node uh, otherwise you just can skip this and then from the authority we are going to create the save game object and we need to select our uh, my save game in my case and the next thing what we should do is start um, saving these variables so what we need to do is get all of these variables so we need to set inventory and all the other ones And so now the next thing what I will do is connect the actual variables that we want to save so like this so this is the inventory and the equipped items and so forth and once we have done that uh, what I will do is connect the execution to the first node and then I will just simply loop them like this till the end and at the last one I'm gonna go up again loop again and again on the last one we're gonna go up again and this is how I'm going to connect my variables you can do it in a different way uh, but this is just how I will do that so I'll be back in a second once I'm finished with connecting all the pins so this is how my mess will look like uh, looks like a big chaos but well we're gonna work with this and then once we have uh, saved all of these then from the last one what we are going to do is save game to slot and we need to connect this save game object to this one to our uh, created game save return value which for me is over here and also what we need to do is uh, name this we need to remember this because we are going to use this uh, once we load the game so I will call this just game slot 1 in my case you can have many slots uh, in the same uh, game save uh, blueprint so we're going to save this and this is all that we need to do to save the game so basically we create the uh, object 
which is our game save then we save our variables inside of this and then we just simply well finish with the saving the slot so now let's work on the load game um, and this of course doesn't necessarily need to be in the third person uh, blueprint folder you can do this through UI by having this from the on click event so this is just for me for now just for testing I'm going to create UI later on for this and for the load I will do again on the keyboard key 2 like this and what we are going to do is load game from slot and now we need to type in our slot which was game slot 1 and then we are going to from this return value we can cast to our save file and from here we need to let's say get inventory we will need to get all of our variables and then we can set our third person characters inventory like so and simply set it up like so and this is going to save it so just for the testing purposes let's test this out because this should work and uh, uh, let's just test out the inventory alone so I will host a game right now my inventory is completely empty but if I go up to some items let's pick them up and now you can see that my inventory is full of items I will click one this will save it I will go out press play again host the game so the inventory is empty again press 2 and there we have our items they have been successfully loaded and all we got to do now is just simply add all of the other variables and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now so now all of my variables have been set up I did a pretty similar thing that I did uh, previously up here I connected all of them like in a line like so and uh, yeah now we can go and test this whole thing out fully to see if everything is loading properly so if we press I we have no items press C we have our 200 stat points max health hunger limit blah 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 all the other good stuff now let's add some stat points to see what will happen and let's add some max speed as well to this let's go let's pick up some items so we have a few items and I'm pressing 1 I go out of the game I press play again I host the game and when I press 2 yes you can see my stats went down um, my items are back well my stats didn't go down actually well the maximum amount went up so that's why these bars went down and uh, yeah everything seems like it like it's supposed to be so while I was editing this video I noticed that I have forgotten to save um, and properly equip our equipables so this is what we are going to do right now don't mind these nodes you will get these in the next tutorial this is for the build mode so let's work on the equipped items let's drag this back a little and we should probably use the same function that we use when we just simply equip items like this server collect uh, equipment like so and let's see as of right now we are going to work just on the single player version of this kind of uh, we are only going to equip items on our server character uh, but don't worry we are going to work on the other character a little bit later on down the road in a different video so now we should probably do our server equip sec server collect equipment like so and we need quite a few of these nodes we have five equipables so let's connect uh, create five nodes so we have four and we have the fifth one there we go and from here what I could do is connect the item datas like so like so whoops item data item data and now let's connect our player I will actually move this back a little more and for the player I'm just going to use a simple reference to ourselves later we will add a different node to this but as of right now for a single player this is all that we need 
And now I will connect the nodes in a line like so. There we go. And now we can connect this one over here and this one can go further down the road like so. So now technically everything should be working fine. If we would compile and save this, let's host the game. There we go, we're in the game. Let's pick up some items. Let's, uh, well actually let's take a gun as well. Let's test all of this. So we have a blouse, jeans, hat, and a revolver which does not want to be equipped. That's strange. Okay, we are going to check out what's wrong with the revolver. But we have our items. So let's press 1 to save this. Leave the game. Press play again, host the game, press 2, and we have our items back. Also, we have all the equipped items, uh, pick up items as well. So, this is working pretty, pretty good. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you guys in the next video.